do we feel like there is a Christianity, there is an, a, a, there is a connection to faith that has to be intrinsically different for black people in America than in just the general concept of Christianity as a whole? Is I think that more than that, there needs to be a deconstruction of what Christianity has been over the last several centuries when it, when it comes to the West. Is that Western culture needs a new, um, Jesus needs a PR person. Jesus needs a PR person. It's because uh, the evangelical movement has been trash, has been garbage. Not all evangelicals, but the evangelical movement. The what would we, just for layman's terms, what would we consider to be the evangelical movement? Like what is in what is that indicative during, of? During the 50s, the 40s, 50s, and 60s, during the rise of during the rise of the of the evangelical or the political right, we started to see where white Christians and politics began to be so, so much intrinsically involved Attached, where, yeah. where it was very incestuous. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we had these issues where where these 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 neo white ideals that were fabricated and they were packaged in evangelical white Christianity in America to the point that even churches were silent on even issues of Jim Crow, civil rights, where even one of my uh, heroes, Dr. Billy Graham, told Dr. King he was being too loud. And so if why was Billy Graham one of your heroes? It's because I loved his movement at the time of being able to welcome all people to hear the faith. At, mm. at, at, at one time, his, his microphone was so loud right. that he invited all people to be able to hear the faith. You know, that that, that there, there was not a public uh, uh, message that did not have a door open to all people, but to find out privately that there were conversations that were having, uh, that were being had on the levels of politics, on the levels of civil rights that were hypocritical yeah. to the teachings of Jesus. It was disappointing. And and it just also showed uh, the failure and the fragility of of, of uh, his humanity, just like we see the fragility even and even in the life of Dr. King. So, you know, all of our heroes were flawed, right? You know, we, we have yeah, black heroes that were flawed. And so, but... But if the evangelical church collectively would have acknowledged that racism and slavery was a sin, it couldn't have existed in Western culture because there was a period of time that the white church was so powerful in its political stance and its influence in politics that collectively, if the evangelical church in America would have stood together and said that this is a sin against a group of people that are brothers and sisters, it never could have survived in the West the way it did. And they didn't. And they aren't. And they aren't. 